Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, now uh, I want to... I want to uh, jump in and speak about what is going on. This is not about me. I hear many people say, see, one is so consigned over this TBJSW issue because it's the next one to be exposed. It's the next one, you know, to be, to be investigated. Or see, one is the next one that is going to be uh, brought down. Look. I, I, I don't the sound is a bit not clear please tell us uh, how is the sound like I want to get I want to make sure that the sound is okay before I proceed how is the sound like this you must hear it this is very very important so people are saying no see one you are very you have been panicking since this thing came out since this thing of prophet tbs what came out because you are next to be uh, exposed you are next to die you are next to bbc to be investigated and so on and so forth look to me i don't have a problem being investigated it's not about me i don't i really don't have a problem being investigated by anybody and to me also it's not about them because i don't need them i don't need good name i don't want people to call me good name i don't want people to love me personally see i want i don't have good name if you go to google you will check 90% of the names that people call me a bad name, but it's okay to me. I don't care. I don't have problem about this But my concern is the next generation that is coming behind me It's not all about C1. It's not all about TB Joshua. It's not all about anybody, but the next generation that is coming I mean, what are we leaving for them? I've been preaching about this. I've been saying about it. I've been talking about this thing. White people do not have any good agenda for the blacks. There is nothing, absolutely nothing good that is coming from the white to the blacks. This you must, this you must, you must listen properly and hear it openly today. There is nothing, absolutely, there is nothing no good agenda that is coming from abroad that is coming from the white from the west for the blacks everything that comes from them to us is something that will destroy us is something that will bring us down is something that is going to mess us up i have been warning you i have been telling you people i have been telling you to say listen attentively Pay attention while you read your Bible. Open your eyes, open your ears, open your conscience, and read like a human being. Don't just read everything and believe it. Because the people that brought Bible to us do not mean well to us. The people that brought Holy Bible to us, that told us that this Bible is going to lead us to heaven, don't even want us to go to heaven. The people, I, I always give this example, but people don't believe. What is happening to Prophet T.B. Joshua should open the eyes of every man and the woman of God in Africa to wake up. That we here in Africa are the solution to our problem. Nobody will give us solutions from anywhere. And no one can teach us God better than ourselves. If a white man comes here and tells you that, look, this holy path is going to lead you to heaven. It's very easy for them to say that to us. It's very easy for them to give it to us. 
It's very easy for them to teach us Bible, but it's very difficult for them to teach us things on earth. They will not teach us how to make plants here on earth, every plant here on earth. They will not teach us how to produce drugs here on earth. They will never teach us how to have companies and industries here on earth. I say this and I say it several times. Rehabon became so powerful in Africa. When it comes to Africa, Rehabon is having millions of people attending his program. People will give offering. People will sow seed. People will partner. Billionaires in Nigeria. Billionaires in Africa, billionaires all around Africa, presidents of Africa, politicians, they will give a huge amount of money to Rana Bonke. Rana Bonke will carry that money to his country, there in Europe. And he can never, ever do anything profitable here in Africa. He can never, if you go to, if you go to any place in Nigeria or Africa and see any factory built by Rena Bonke, know that I'm a false prophet. They will never build it here. The thing they can do is to build Bible school. Now, you enter into that Bible school and you, you, you continue being brainwashed. You continue being brainwashed and brainwashed and brainwashed. In this Bible school, you are told that nothing good will come from Africa. Now, TB Joshua has come. TB Joshua has done a lot of work on earth, not just in Africa, in, in Asia, in South America. I remember when there was flood, tsunami, earthquake in South America. TB Joshua carried the millions upon millions of dollars and took to those countries and have them rescued, provided a lot of things. BBC did not broadcast it. No white media broadcasted it. No one spoke about it. During the time of uh, 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 COVID-19, a lot of countries were affected. TBDS was spent millions upon millions of dollars rescuing so many countries, not just African countries, so many countries. No media broadcasted it. There are thousands of people among all the things that you call fake miracles. There are thousands of people that we are healed genuinely at TB Joshua's church. There is no day that the white media broadcasted it. They didn't mention it. They blacklisted it. TB Joshua contributed a lot to peace on earth. No media mentioned it. No one spoke about it. Now, that TB Joshua is dead, or even when he was alive, they picked few places where he was accused of abusing women. He was accused of doing this. He was accused of doing that. They picked them and put them together just to destroy him because he's a black man. If you are a Bible reader, you read your Bible and you believe your Bible, there is a man in the Bible called Apostle Paul who was a killer. He used to kill people. He was not abusing people. Remember that the case of abuse, all these things that they are putting on TB Joshua today, all these things are things that really you can go to court and get bail. These are little offenses. But Apostle Paul was a killer. He was killing people, innocent people. They were not committing any crime. Their crime was they were hearing the word of God and they were giving their life to Christ and they were repenting. Any place he sees somebody carrying a Bible, he kills that person. Now, a few years later, he gave his life to Christ, he became a born again, and no one spoke about all those atrocities. Today, he's called St. Paul. He wrote almost half of the scripture in the New Testament. What if TB Joshua committed all these atrocities? Must they override all the good things that he did? The same media that is now all over scampering, including our useless African brothers and sisters who cannot defend ourselves, the same all of you that are sharing the bad thing that TB Joshua did, how about the good things that he did? How many of them have you shared? How many of them have you shared? TB Joshua was abusing women. Didn't you see that TB Joshua healed people? Why are you not talking about it? Let me tell you what you don't know. If you are a fool 
If you are not wise, if you are brainwashed, you will not understand that white people will never ever show us the way that will lead us to eternal life. They don't want any good history about a black person. That is why they are using our brothers and our sisters. Look at the people that are confessing that TBS did this, TBS did that, TBS did this, TBS. Look at them. You will understand that these people are actually with deep down their heart. They know that there are so many good things that TB Joshua did. But those things must not be recorded. That is why a useless idiot from Africa today will wake up and open a church and start speaking against our ancestors. Start conducting a deliverance service against our ancestors. No, you are here today because your father did bad thing. Your father was serving mommy water. Your father was serving on her tree. Your father was serving this. Your father was serving that. That is why you are not prospering. So therefore, you are going to your house. You are going to cut down everything that your father was did before he died. Listen, the reason why we don't have anything good to say about our ancestors is because they are not recorded white people did not record everything they did not record any good thing that our ancestors did in olden days our ancestors were living above 100 years some even lived above 150 years why when they are sick they, many of them had the capacity and the ability to walk into the bush and pick leaves. They know the leaves that can cure malaria. They know the leaves that can cure madness. They know the leaves that can cure all sicknesses and diseases. But because it was not recorded, all the good things that they did we are not recorded today we see them as bad people that is exactly what is happening when our generation is gone history will forget people like tb joshua when people read it they'll say oh that man he was a rapist oh that man he was a woman abuser abuser hey that man he was a satanist how about the good things that he did history did not record it the generation that will come will not read about it they will read about the bad thing that is why Africa will continue being useless and be useless and be useless and be useless. Our forefathers are the reason why there was even anything like Jesus. If you read Bible and you believe Bible, I'm quoting the Bible that you believe. The Bible says when Jesus was born, the king gave a decree, King Herod gave a decree, said every firstborn every child born and is a, is a, a male child kill the child because they wanted to kill Jesus read your bible very very well when Jesus was born the mother and the father took him and brought him to Africa here in Egypt our ancestors protected Jesus because they are good people most of you that go to Israel to go and look for Jesus without Africa Jesus was going to be killed in Israel there was never going to be Jesus our ancestors protected them because they are good people Jesus was protected here in Egypt here in Africa but there is nothing good written in the Bible about Africa everything written in the Bible about Africa is evil it's bad even Egypt itself in the Bible, what is written about it is bad. That is why I am calling you all to wake up. Wake up a black man, black preacher, black prophet, black bishop. Wake up. Wake up. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. If you go to, and uh, if you travel to America, you get a church where a black man is leading the church. You can see that there are there are only few white people that that are there, and those white people that are there are the ones. It's either they are benefiting from the church, they are being paid in the church. Or oh, there is something they are benefiting from that church. They don't just attend to church have been opened by a black man. But go to churches. Go open the open your channel, watch TV Jacks. See of of no matter how powerful he is, look at how many white people that you see in that church. You can see that there are few. Those ones you see there, they are getting salary, they work in the church. 
But go to church opened by a white man, you will see black idiots, black fools. There are a lot in that church. Even in Africa here, there are people that believe that only a white man can be a true prophet, a true pastor. The rest of the pastor, they are, they are bad. They, look at TB Joshua. Tell me, in all the billions that Real Bonke made in Africa, how many lives did he change? Did he even reach half what TB Joshua did? The Bonke come to Africa, he collect billions, he ran to his country, he developed his country. TB Joshua, with what he's getting in Africa, when there is tsunami in Southern America, in Asia, he carried the money and go and, go and help them there. Who is now the true prophet? How about Benihin? How much has Benihin made from Nigeria? Where is the factor of Benihin? How much has Benihin contributed to develop Africa? How much has Benihin contributed to eradicate poverty in Africa? He can never bring money to Africa. He can only come to Africa and collect. But there are few African people that don't believe that God can use an African. TB Joshua is one of the greatest prophets that lived on earth. The greatest. I, I, I usually look at my brothers and sisters. I look at them. I say, you are, you are not wise. Somebody comes to you. He brings a Bible to you. He brings a Bible to you and he tells you, open this Bible, open this Bible, say, take this Bible, take it. When you want to be healed, read this Bible. When you want to go to heaven, read this Bible. Anything you want to do, read this Bible. And he tells you, in this Bible, there are many things that are written just to keep you down. For example, I was speaking to my church last Sunday. I was saying, the Bible said, blessed are the poor, for they shall inherit heaven. I mean, you believe those things. The people that wrote the Bible are not poor. The preachers are not poor. They don't want heaven. They don't like heaven. They don't want to go to heaven. You read it, you hold it like this. I want to be poor because when I go to heaven, the Bible says it will be difficult for a rich man to enter heaven. It will even be easier for head of camel to enter through the needle. So it's better I be poor and go to heaven. You are mad. You are mad. Even in heaven, even in heaven, there is no room for poverty there. Two people died. One of them was a very rich man, Lazarus. And another one was Zacchaeus, a, 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 a very rich man. And the, other, the poor one was Lazarus. Lazarus, when he died, he thought that, uh, uh, let me go to heaven. When I go to heaven, that is where I'm going to enjoy. He went to heaven, according to the Bible that you read. When he got to heaven, he was shocked that an angel took him to Abraham's bosom. He was squatting here on earth in heaven. He was squatting at Abraham's bosom because he was poor. Abraham had the bosom. Abraham had the spirit in heaven, according to your Bible. But a poor man was still squatting at Abraham's bosom. Your Bible says that when the rich man from hell saw the poor man at the Abraham's bosom. He said to Abraham, Abraham, send that boy. He was still calling him a boy. He was in hell, but he was calling somebody who was in heaven a boy. Send him to go and fetch water for me. I want to drink water. Who told you that poverty is a mark of going to heaven? If poverty could lead people to heaven. White people that wrote the Bible were going to be poor. But they are not poor. The greatest Bible on earth, the greatest interpretation of Bible on earth, King James version of the scripture, which is the greatest and the most authentic Bible interpretation here on earth. The owners are not poor. That is the house of Queen Elizabeth, the family of Queen Elizabeth. If they want to go to heaven, if the heaven is for the poor, why are they rich? They came to Africa. They stole our gold. They stole our diamond. They stole everything that we had in Africa. And they want you to go to heaven and collect yours. It's because you are a mumu. You are a mumu person. That is why right now there are many of you that have already started part one day's fasting and prayer.
January, 31 days fasting and prayer. Instead of going to look for a job, you are now in a church, you are praying, you are a fool. Instead of going to look for employment, this is January. January, you need to look for money because your children must go to school. January, you need to look for money because you have to pay your house rent. You are in church, you are praying, you are a fool. You lack wisdom. How are you going to? There is a lot of bills to pay in January. Leave that church and go and look for money. What is going on? Why is South Africa so foolish that we are we are mad? We are becoming mad. We are we we are we don't even see what is what is going on. You are not doing part one days. Fasting and prayer. Every day you are praying. Every day you are praying. At the end of the day, you will give your whole salary to the man of God as first fruit. You are a fool. You are you are mad. You are useless. You are an idiot. So if you give that whole salary to the man of God as your first fruit, what are you going to use for food? What are you going to use to pay your school, your children's school fees? What are you going to use to pay rent? God will provide. God has already provided through your job, through the work that you are doing. But your foolishness has give, carried you and gave all the things that God provided to you, to your pastor. Hunger is going to kill you and you will die of hunger. And you say you are going to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. When I go to heaven, that's it, that my house. My house is in heaven. Aha. You don't have a house here on earth. Not even one room. Your house is in heaven. You are you are mad. You must wake up. Our ancestors before now had the powers. They knew God. I don't know about you in your own language. Before Bible came to here in Africa, they knew God already. They had God already. They knew God already. They have powers already. That's why many of them went to the bush and get herbs that healed them. Those days, they were living above 100 years. How many years old do we live today here on earth? You can see that we are useless. Today, when somebody at least dies at 60, we call for that person. Hey, this person, he has tried. Those days, they were not dying because they had the original God. They, they, they had what it takes to cure sicknesses and diseases. All those people that we are curing those sicknesses and diseases, when we are on earth, we are dead documented. There was no document about it. And our men and women of God, these young, young boys, I feel pity for you. You wake up today, you have the gut to speak against our ancestors. You are calling them evil. You are calling them ancestral demon. They will kill you one day. They will rise up against you. The reason why Africa is not progressing is because we neglected our ancestors. Remember, keep on sharing this broadcast. People must hear the truth. White people do not want us to be documented. Only thing they want to hear about us is evil. Let me tell you, a man of God, a herbalist, a doctor, whatever you are, we are just empty vessel that God decide to use. He may use you in any area of herbalist. You have the ability to walk into the bush and collect uh, leaves and cure people. It's a talent. It's a gift. Some will give you the gift to prophesy, to pray, to heal people. It's a gift. It's a talent. But in all in all, we are just vessels. We are being used by God. After being used by God, we are human beings. We are human beings. I can make mistake. TB Joshua can make mistake. He is a human being. He can see a very beautiful girl, very attractive girl. And he look at it as a human being, as a man, after being used by God. He look at it and say, mm, I want. He can fall into that temptation 
you may not fall into that temptation but in all in all he's a human being everyone make a mistake including those of you that are seated on your phone condemning and the judging writing bad things about tb Joshua and men of god tell me among you any one of you that has never committed any crime that has never made a mistake i i am even looking at government officials politicians hey that man i told you is a fake Politi criminals you are busy looting the money made for your constituency made for your country made for the development of your people you steal it you are banking it in another man's country and you still have the guy to talk about tbs or you are a fool i always tell you to me i don't have good name i went i don't need good name investigation you have done investigation on me for many years and you have found out that number one i'm a criminal i'm a false prophet i am a satanist i am a rapist i am a homosexual i am everything you call me is true that is what i am i don't need good name i don't need good name I don't need it. But what I'm concerned is that the next generation that will come, they will still see us as bad people. And the men of God that will be there then will command them to bind us and the losers. Because there is nothing good written in the Bible about us. There is no country on earth today that committed the greatest atrocity more than the country of Israel. I mean, have you ever seen a country? The president comes out and give a decree and and he says kill every male child that is born innocent children we are killed the foundation of israel was laid on blood but still today black people leave their country and go to israel to go and worship god a country that killed innocent children because of jesus why now because good things have been written about israel one of the things that is boosting the economy of Israel today is tourism. Because Mumu, fools, idiots, they go in number. They, some even sell their lands. Some sell their properties. Men and women of God tell them, let's go and see the grave of Abraham. You, you jump a plane. You sell everything you have. You go to Israel. You want to go and see the grave of Abraham. But the grave of your father that died, when you go there, they tell you that you are worshipping idol. It's easy for you to go and worship the grave of Abraham. Didn't Abraham die? Was he not a human being? Abraham died. You can go and carry sand. Eh? You can go and carry sand from the grave of Abraham in Israel. But you cannot respect the grave of your father, the grave of your parents, the people that gave birth to you, the mother, the pain that your mother went through to give birth to you. You cannot respect them. You are busy sending Holy Ghost fire to them because men of God told you that they are ancestors, they are evil, they are, they are demonic. You are a fool. It will never be well with you. It will never, even if you want to go from here to Jerusalem, it will never be well with you. And all of you that are disrespecting TB Joshua, I curse you, I curse your generation, I curse you, I curse you, I curse you. All of you that are that are disrespecting our ancestors, you are cursed. You are cursed. The same way you are disrespecting them, this is the way your children will disrespect you. This is the way your family will disrespect you. This is the way everybody around you will disrespect you. No good thing will ever enter your family. Nothing good will ever... All of you that are against our ancestors, it will never be well with you. If America is good, go and live in America then. This is foolishness. And this foolishness must come to an end. There is a lot of ignorance going on. We are all human beings. We are not gods. We are human beings. Anyone can make a mistake. Because of one mistake, people should not talk about all the good things that I did. I mean, because of one mistake. If I thought T.B. Joshua uh, slept with that one, that woman that looked like, her eye looked like uh, the wee wee didn't throw her eye. What is Abishola? If T.B. Joshua, that pussycat eye, I mean, T.B. Joshua was a handsome man, admired by millions of people from all over the world. Even if he, he was pressed, they want to have sex urgently. You mean T.B. Joshua can go and have sex with a pussycat eye like that? 
Okay, even if DBS has sex with that, and then it's a human being, he can make a mistake. Even you that is judging, you have made mistake before. Many of you are making mistake. I see people who are on top of somebody's wife and they are still typing. Hey, this prophet, their first prophet, you are a fool. Everyone can make a mistake. God can use anything. God can use anybody. God can use everybody. Irrespective of your mistake. Today you speak rubbish about TB Joshua. Forgetting that King David, the David you worship, most of you useless people from Africa, you climb your plane, you sell your land, you sell everything you have, you fly, whoo, you go to Israel, you want to go and worship the God of uh, David. David was an adulterer. Adulterer. David was changing women from one woman to another one, from one woman to another one, from one woman to another one. He died as an adulterer. He didn't repent. If you read your Bible very, very well, the day he died, they even brought a virgin close to him for the virgin to touch him. When the virgin touched him and they discovered that, oh, he couldn't wake up, they say he has died because he never played with the virgin. He was a womanizer. He never played with 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 skate. Today, you will stand up and speak good thing about King David, but can never say anything good about T.B. Joshua because T.B. Joshua is a is a black man. Eh? Because T.B. Joshua is a black man. Eh? Because T.B. Joshua is a black man. It's because he's a black man. If T.B. Joshua was a white man. Look at the way they are honoring uh, 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 T.M. Osborne. Look at the way they are honoring uh, uh, Catherine Kuma. Look at the way none of these people came closer to what T.B. Joshua did. None of them came closer to what T.B. Joshua achieved on earth. But they are being honored because they are white people. Any moment from now, they will start celebrating with a bunker. You will become a god. What did he do? What did he do that T.B. Joshua did not do? How many people did he heal that TBS did not heal? But because he's a black man, the problem of Africa is us. We are the problem of ourselves. We, blacks, are the problems of blacks. We are ready to support the white to oppress our people. That's why you see idiots like Simon writing rubbish. TB Joshua is a bad man. TB Joshua is a rapist. TB Joshua died because of what? Because he got to a white man's church. Any black man that find Christ in a white man, you are a zombie. You are a zombie you be. To me, I've lived with so many races. I've lived with the Chinese, Asians, I've lived with the, 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 the Western. But I can tell you, any black man that goes and sits down and listens to a white man preaching Jesus to that person, I they, right from there, I remove my respect from them. Because there is nothing they will tell us about Jesus that we don't know. All the people that men were for Africa, they are painted evil. Few, if Gaddafi was alive by now, Libya was going to be one of the greatest countries on earth. They killed him because he's a black man. They wrote all sorts of things. They wrote this. They wrote that. They wrote this. They wrote that. If you go to Gaza, see how Israel has destroyed Gaza. Who is speaking evil against the president of Israel? No one, because he's not a black man. If he's a black man, if he's a black man, if that president of Israel is a black man, by now, it would have opened, all the whole country would have been swallowed with bomb. We are the problem of ourselves. No one is writing good things about us. Whatever we do that is good, no one talk about it. But one mistake, everyone will capitalize. Our brothers and sisters are sharing, including including i mean sinners uh, I, I know that there are sinners but there are there are committed sinners those who snatch people's husband those who snatch people's wife useless sinners they are they are, they are pointing fingers at tb joshua no he was a false prophet uh, he was sleeping with women uh-huh what is wrong with that god created heaven and earth 
God created Adam and Eve. The first people that God created, the people that he molded with his hands, the first people he gave his breath, they made the mistake in the Garden of Eden. The angels from above called the fallen angels. They were, they were sent for a message here on earth. They came and they saw beautiful ladies bathing. They, 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 they couldn't resist the temptation. They slept with those beautiful ladies. And heaven was closed for them. If angels can be tempted and they fall into temptation, how about a human being? Even you that is criticizing T.B. Joshua, even you that is talking so many bad things about T.B. Joshua, let me tell you this. Let me say this to you. There are things that you are doing within yourself. You know that it's a sin, but you are still doing it. But you still have the right to talk against a man that has changed so many lives. Let me tell you this. Hear this. Hear this. Even you, God can use you right there where you are committing a sin. We are just vessels. We make mistakes. When you write about our mistake, write about the good things that we did. So that the next generation that will come will not see us as evil. They will know that we made mistake, but we also did good things. They will know that we made a mistake, but we saved a lot of lives. They will know that we performed fake miracles. We also performed good miracles. Don't just take the bad part of us and then write it and publish it so that people, the next generation that will come, will see us as evil and start sending Holy Ghost fire to us. As I speak right now, there is no history about blacks. There is no history about Africa. Everything about us is evil. Nothing good can come out of Africa. Not even a single thing. Everything about us is evil. Our culture is evil. Uh, in, in my village, we do oh, masquerade. Good, 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 good. Why, uh, church people came, they destroy it. Pa. Say, ah, this thing it belongs to the devil. This thing it represents Satan. This is exactly how Satan looks. White people have a culture called Halloween. I see the same men of God that destroy our culture, our own. I see them participating in Halloween. Their children are wearing Halloween. The same thing they destroy in our village. The same thing they are practicing in town. We don't have a culture. Because there is no one taking record. The only people that are writing, including black media that are writing, they are writing negative about us. Look at how every people are excited, especially men and women of God. They are jumping. Some will even do thanksgiving in their church. They will say, hey, I told you that evil man will be exposed. There is no evil man, there is no one more evil than a white. The whites are the ones. That we should be looking at and say, mm, this one is evil. I told you, many of you are so brainwashed. You say our forefathers were poor because they were serving uh, idol. They were serving mommy water. They, let me tell you this: the whole entire country of Israel was going to be wiped out if not because of Egypt. Do you read your Bible? You are a Bible reader. You believe in Bible. But I'm the one quoting Bible to you. You don't even know the Bible that you read. Jacob, the, the entire land of Israel, there was a hunger. There was no food at all. Everybody was dying. Jacob told his children, go to Egypt and look for food. And they went to Egypt. That's where they found food. Egypt is in Africa. Egypt is not in heaven. Egypt it's not in America. It's not in Dubai. Egypt is in Africa. The food that they got from Africa was the food that was taken to Israel to preserve the nation of Israel. Hunger was going to wipe out the entire lineage of Israel. But because of food that came from Egypt, they were preserved. Why is it that you look at our ancestors and you call them bad people? Why do you say that they were serving idol? Why do you send Holy Ghost fire to them? 
Why do you discredit our ancestors? Why do you speak evil against our ancestors? Do you know that, I don't know how old you are now, but let's say you are 20 years old. 100 years from now, you'll be no more. You also become an ancestor. How you are treating your ancestors today? How would you feel if the generation to come, your children, will look at you and treat you the way you are treating your ancestors today? What dies is the body. The body dies. The spirit continues living. Now, imagine you die. The children that you suffered for, the children that you left, every, many of you, as I'm talking now, you have not even eaten. You have gone out to look for food for your children. Many of you, as I'm talking now, you are supposed to be in the bed sleeping. You have woken up from bed because you want to give your life, you want to give your children good life. Many of you, where you are right now, you are supposed to be enjoying with your friends. Drinking alcohol with your friends, smoking with your friends. You said, I'm not going to do that because I have children. The money that I'll spend in alcohol, let me use it to build a house for my children so that when I die, they will not suffer what I suffered. After all those things, you die. You have built a house for them. A useless man of God, all this dropout that failed school because they failed their examination, they opened a church. Asa Papa, prophet. Prophet this, prophet that, apostle this, apostle that. You can you come to your house? Eh? We are going to pray for you. We want to disconnect you now from the spirit of your parents. You being a parent, right there in the spirit, watching your children disconnecting themselves from you, how will you feel? Tell me, how will you feel? You think that you are going to heaven. <laughs> you are cheating yourself. You are not going anywhere. The people that told us about heaven are not ready to go to heaven. Who are we to prepare to go to heaven? The people, I mean the people that told us about heaven. And in the Bible they wrote that Jesus is coming very soon. Them themselves are not ready to go to heaven. They don't want to go. They are preparing to establish more here on earth. If you go to England, in the house of Queen Elizabeth, the house of the king, they know who is going to be the next king in the next 2,000 years to come. Meaning, in the next 2,000 years, they still want to be here. You that don't have anything, black man from Africa that don't even have a bicycle people that have already don't want to go to heaven you that don't have anything you that don't have nothing no property at all you want to die and go to heaven the people that wrote the Bible and told you about heaven they don't want to go they have prepared themselves to for the next 20, 30 years, 50, 2,000, 4,000 years to come. If you ask them, they know who is going to be a king. They know who is going to be a queen. They don't want to go, but you want to go. Let me conclude by saying this. The time when we start respecting our ancestors, I was in Zambia, I, I lived in Zambia for 10 years. And during that time I lived in Zambia, one lady came to me, she came for prayer, and she said, I was having an HIV for many years, and I tried everything possible, it didn't work. Then I met a man called Mr. Sondash. He gave me a medicine, that medicine is Sondash formula. Then I took that medicine and... I'm healed. I went to the hospital. They tested me. I'm negative. But uh, after one year, the thing came back again. Now, the fact that there was even a healing that took place when she consumes, consumes Sondash formula should also give you a credit that Africa are great people. 
what needed to be done was for the government of Zambia to call in SPACT to determine the reason why the sickness came back so that there will be more supplement added and Africa will be the one that will provide the cure for HIV and AIDS. But as I talk to you right now, I don't know if Sondashi is dead or his product is dead. There is no one talking about it again because he's a black man. If that formula was founded by a white man, by now it would have been a billionaire. By now the product would have been all over. But because the formula was produced by a poor black man. Uh, someone was even arrested for taking the product or for advertising the product just because it's a black man. Imagine if it was a white man. What was going to happen? We are the problems ourselves. Black child, black mama, black papa, wake up. God love you. Sometimes God even laugh at you because he gave you brain. Other people took your brain. Uh, I was preaching in, in one church the other day and I was speaking. I was talking about you have the conscience. God created you in his own image. He gave you the conscience to differentiate what is good and what is evil. You can actually look at this thing and say, this is bad. There are things you read in the Bible, you know that... Mm -mm. This one is a lie. But because they told you that you cannot challenge the Bible, your conscience is telling you that this is a lie. This thing here, written, was written against the blacks. This thing written here was written against the blacks. You can see it openly. I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. But because you are told not to challenge it, you read it, you believe it. When someone openly tells you that money is the root of all evil, <laughs> you believe. You believe. But the person that wrote that thing in the scripture wants money. That is why after writing that thing in the scripture, he brought the Bible to you. He didn't give it to you free. He gave you the Bible and took your money. You bought it. You gave him the Bible, which will lead you to heaven. And he took the root of all evil from you. But you are not wise to look at it with a human brain. God is looking at you and saying you are, you are a fool. This is not, I gave you a brain. I put a brain in you, but you refuse to use your brain. That is why white people are treating you anyhow they want. Somebody tells you, money is the root of all evil. And when you finish preaching, he said, offering time, blessing time. You, you bring money to him, you give money to him, but it's, it's the root of all evil. You give him that root of all evil, he takes it. Are you wise? Man of God is telling you that Jesus is coming very soon. Prepare yourself. Prepare. I know many men of God that misled people here in Nigeria. Prepare yourself. I saw in a vision. I saw uh, Jesus has already carried his slippers. He's just waiting for Jegebre to blow the trumpet. Pull every, sell your TV. Throw away, they throw away everything. That was many years ago. But today we have not seen Jesus anywhere. That man of God is now building university. He's building hospitals. He's building houses for his children. He's not preparing to go to heaven. But you, the poor member, is the one that is busy preparing to go to heaven. When is Africa people going to wake up? When are we going to stand up and say, enough is enough. There is something good that is coming out of Africa. When? Even in politics. The whites have taken over. They determine what happens in Africa. If you don't agree with what they are saying, they will, they will sanction your country. And in our own eyes like this, 
They are telling us that a man must marry a man. If you don't want, your country will die of poverty. The same people that brought the Bible to us. The same people that brought Jesus to us. Imagine a whole Pope, the Holy of Holies, saying that is right. So, where is the Bible? Where is the hope? During the time of our ancestors, such a thing would never happen. So, between them now and us, who are the ones going to heaven? Don't be shocked that if there is a heaven, you go to heaven, all of them are there. You that claim that you are born again, you find yourself in hell if there is hell. God can use anybody. We are just vessels. When you write about the mistakes that we made, also write about the good things that we did. So that the next generation will come and say, Africa had great people. Even if they offended, at least they did this. At least they achieved this. That is balanced coverage. Run away, men and women of God run away from the West. This is all I want to say. Share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. If you have listened to this broadcast, share this broadcast. Let everyone hear this. Africa is waking up. I'll be coming from time to time to open your eyes and to open your ears. God bless you. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.